All right, guys, the very next roll, we got something amazing. This is actually going to be a young head, as you can see right here. Let's flip this one over to see what we got here. Three, two, one. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the final episode of the CoinQuest Penny Series. CoinQuest, of course, is the series where I take $25 boxes of pennies and go through the rolls looking for interesting and valuable coins. Coins which I then use to fill in my coin collection for both American and Canadian pennies. Now, to be honest with you guys, this moment is a little bit bittersweet because I started this series just over a year ago, and it has been so much fun. It's given my channel so much growth, and I've gotten to connect with you guys so much over filling out these collections as far as we can. We've We've come a long way since that first episode of Coin Quest, and I'm excited to see what this final push is going to get us to in terms of these collections and how much we are able to fill them out. So without any further ado, let's get into the final hunt. So as you guys know, I like to start off every box by looking for enders. I've already done that with this box, and I did come up with a few. They're not as nice as you would expect uh, to see from a lot of these boxes, especially the ones that I've been getting recently, uh, but they are pretty cool still. I got two Canadian enders, and this is something I don't actually get very often. I probably get weed enders more often than this. It is a 2009 ender. Uh, you can see the obverse side right there. And this one happens to be the professional life, uh, which you can see on the placemat right here. So that is the third one in the series. So as always, I'm going to go ahead and jump into these enders uh, first, and we're going to do these live. I'm just going to pull that uh, professional life there off first. So let's go ahead and see what else uh, we're going to get in the roll uh, as well as that first one. So let's pull that one off the end and uh, take a look at it. Uh, the mystery here is whether it's going to be a Philadelphia or Denver mint mark. Let's find out here in three, two, one. All right, so it is a Philadelphia mint mark. Uh, that is pretty much uh, the most common thing for me around here. I am in Michigan and I think that's a little bit closer to Philadelphia than it is to Denver. So I usually end up getting uh, a lot more Philadelphia mint marks on uh, all the coins. So it's uh, definitely something that I see a little bit more, but depending on where you are, you might get uh, different results. So it looks like we do have a, a little bit of an older Canadian here uh, in this role as well. This is something that I like to pull out and we still do need quite a few of these in the collections more uh, towards the older side. So let's see what we have on it for a date on this one. All right, so 1964, uh, the most common date uh, for that type of coin right there, so nothing too special there. Let's go ahead and go through the rest of these and see what else we're gonna get here, guys. Uh, we are also looking out for a 1988 Canadian. I see we just got an 81, that's a little bit more common, so we will put that one to the side. Oh, we have one more that I missed there. Let's see what we got for a date on that one, 1976. All right, so that is it for that roll. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the other two rolls here in just a sec. Let me dump these out first. Dump them out and get into those other two. So let's see here, what do we got here? This one looks actually pretty nice. Uh, that could be an 88, I believe. So let's uh, take a look at that one and see what we're gonna get for a date on that. It's right on the right side there. So there is the coin and let's see what we got for a date, 1981 once again. All right, let's get into the rest of this roll. Just briefly take a look here, see if we got anything cool. And uh, I will take another look at these once uh, I turn the camera off, but I just wanna go through real quickly for you guys, just to see if anything pops out. Uh, I'm not seeing anything yet. And uh, here's a Canadian once again. It looks like this is gonna be a pretty Canadian box here. Oops, dropped it. The year on that one is 1991. All right, so that's nothing crazy, uh, but I think that's gonna be it for that roll. I'll just push those aside and uh, we will get into this final ender here. And then once we get through that, uh, we will get into the rest of the box. So let's see what we got here uh, in this roll. Just gonna kind of ignore that ender because I don't think it's gonna be anything crazy. Um, it looks like we are gonna have a lot of Canadian in this roll once again though. So that ender ended up being a 1976. That's actually our second on the box. And then we got a uh, another Canadian right here. This one's a 1969. So lots of Canadian so far. Hopefully uh, we can start filling some of the stuff into our uh, Canadian album because we do have quite a few holes still missing in that one. All right, let's see if we have anything else in here looking for anything older, maybe some wheat pennies if they show up, uh, but I haven't seen any so far. So I think actually that is gonna be it for that roll, guys. We will get into the rest of the box now and I will turn the camera back on when we find something good. All right, guys, the very next roll and it looks like we are gonna get our first wheat penny right here. It is a 1954 Denver. It came out uh, obverse side up. So that is going to be a wheat penny and that is 
really cool. We got that 1909 through 1958. This is typically what we're looking for in case you're new to the series. Uh, this is kind of the kind of stuff that uh, we need in the collection, but mostly we're looking for pre-1940s. Those are gonna be a lot more difficult to find uh, in the rolls. So we're definitely looking for those, but we'll take uh, a 1950s as well. I got a really nice uh, shiny looking 1979 Denver right there. Nothing crazy, but I'll pull that out as well and we will get on to the next roll. All right, guys, I was just about to dump that roll and I noticed right here uh, facing me we have a 2009 Denver I almost missed that just because I didn't flip it over I really got to pay attention better on these uh, 2009s but this means if this is the presidency this is the one that we've been looking for the entire series and haven't been able to find so if we flip this over and see a presidency I'm gonna freak out let's see what we got here guys three two one dang it that is just a professional life uh, so we can put it next to our uh, Philadelphia minted professional life, but that is not going to do it for us guys Hopefully we get that 2009 Denver presidency in this one. Otherwise, we're never going to get it at all So let's keep going and uh, see what else we can find So a couple rolls later and we just came across something that ended up being a really good roll The reason for that is this coin right here I pulled it out originally and didn't think a whole lot of it But then upon further inspection as you can see that is a 1940 Denver wheat penny. It came out obverse side up, so I saw it like this. And uh, when we flip to the back, you can see that penny is in really good condition for its age. And guys, I looked in the collection and I will show you this right now. Take a look at this. Uh, it turns out that we actually do need that one still in the collection. That's one that we haven't found yet in the Coin Quest series. So that is gonna go over there, right between the 1940 Philadelphia and the 1940 San Francisco. So guys, I was curious about the mintage figure of that 1940 Denver. Uh, it's not a coin that I typically find, as you can tell, it wasn't even in the collection yet. That might even be the first one I've ever found. I, I don't know for sure. But uh, I went over to the back here of this placemat uh, that I designed, and I have the uh, key date dates and the low mintage dates. So the key date dates are below 10 million minted and the low mintage dates are below 50 million. Uh, I don't see it on the list for uh, key date Lincoln cents and I checked the list for low mintage and it is not on there either. So what I did is I went to the red book just to look up the mintage uh, because it's not on either one of those lists and it turned out to be 81 million. So that is actually pretty low uh, as far as pennies go. Of course, it didn't make it into the low mintage area, but it's still pretty low for not being a low mintage uh, penny. So that is a great one to see out of the box already. Hopefully we have a lot more of those to come and maybe we'll get one on the list. Let's find out and keep going. All right, guys, the very next roll we got something amazing. It's not a King George VI. It is a very old Canadian penny though, and it came out obverse side, so we can see the date, 1954. Very, very uncommon to find this date. This is actually going to be a young head, as you can see right here, but I'm almost positive that we don't have that coin uh, in the collection. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up just to make sure. So 1954, yeah, we definitely don't have that one. And it looks like there are actually two different kinds uh, of the 1954, so we will have to uh, look into that. I don't know a whole lot about uh, the different varieties of the Canadian coins, but I'll show you this, guys, in the collection here. Uh, just take a look at this. So we have the 1955. There's a couple different kinds of those as well. And as you can see right there, that 1954 has not been uh, uh, filled in at all yet. So we're gonna get one of those uh, and hopefully we get the better one. I'll have to look into the uh, Canadian book that I have to find out for sure. But uh, that is so cool, guys. Not a date that you see typically, as you can tell. And uh, let's go through the rest of this rule to see if we have anything else in here. I've been finding a ton of Canadians in this box so far, so I know that this thing's gonna be loaded with some really cool uh, older Canadians, hopefully. But that's it for that rule, guys. Let's get on to the next one, and we'll put that one in the collection. So right here, I have my Canadian coin book, and as you can see here, this is uh, all. This is the entire section of Younghead Canadians from 1953 through 1964. And you can see right here, 1954 actually has the lowest mintage by far out of any Younghead Canadian. So we just found the rarest Younghead Canadian uh, as far as date is concerned at only 22 million the next closest I think is the 56 so that is like twice as rare almost three times as rare as uh, the next rarest one in the series so that is an awesome find with that being said guys we're about 10 rolls in let's go ahead and get into the next one and see what else this box is gonna give us all right the very next roll and we have once again a young head this one coming out with the obverse showing so we don't know the date yet let's flip this one over to see what we got here three two one 1964 every single time that I do that 
And there's just so many in this box that I better stop doing it because it's going to be a long video if I keep doing that. All right, we got another uh, Canadian here, though. Let's see what we got for that one. 1998. That is not the 88 that we were looking for. And actually, with that design, you couldn't even get an 88, so I'm not sure why I even tried that. But, guys, I think that's it for that roll. Let's get on to the next one. All right, guys, we're about 10 rolls later. I have found a few things that I want to show you real quick here. Just some common uh, stuff, mostly just newer wheat pennies, a 58 Denver, 55 Denver, uh, and then we got a couple more 64 uh, young heads. A whole bunch of these are coming out. We might actually set a record for the most 64 young heads out of this box, but uh, we got another wheat penny here. I just figured I'd show you because it's a uh, reverse side up, so it's going to be a mystery uh, what the date is there. I'm guessing probably 40s though. So let's see what we got here. Three, two, one. Yep, so 1944, extremely common date right there. Uh, that brings the total up to six wheat pennies on this box, and we're about halfway through right now, so it's definitely not as good as some of the boxes that we've had in the past, but that is it for that roll. We will get on to the next one. All right, so we're about seven or eight rolls later now. We found a couple more 64 young heads and a couple more common wheat pennies. Uh, this was probably my favorite one that came out in the past few rolls, a 1940 plain in uh, pretty good shape, and it actually has a little ding on it there. I don't think that's uh, an error or anything. I think that's just damage, but uh, still pretty cool to see. I wanted to stop on this roll because I see that we have a reverse uh, weedy right there that looks a little bit older, so I'm hoping for something uh, that's older on this coin right here. We only have about 10 more rolls to go, which is just 10 more rolls in the series, so I'm really hoping to get something out of these last uh, 10 rolls, and if this could be one, that'd be, uh, that'd be great. So let's see what we have here. Three, two, one. Okay, so it is a little bit older, but uh, definitely not old enough to get into the collection. 19. 41 is the date on that one. So let's see if we have anything else in this roll. Um, wheat pennies mostly have been coming out common, so that's uh, kind of a bummer, except for that 1940 Denver, which we got uh, really early on in the box. But other than that, I think that's it for that roll, guys. We will continue on and see what else we can find. All right, guys, I am in complete shock right now. I didn't even realize what I did but uh, you're gonna see this coin and you're gonna know exactly what it is as soon as you see it. I pulled this out obverse side up, 2009 Denver. I just, I didn't even look at the D. I wanted to reveal this with you guys, but I just flipped it over and what do you think it's gonna be? <laughs> With five rolls left in the last box, we got our 2009 Denver presidency. I've been looking for this coin for the past 10 boxes plus. I've been looking for it since the beginning of the series, but it's just been on my mind for so long, and we finally, finally got it out of this box, which isn't even producing very many 2009s, so it's super weird to see. And I'm seeing this like this little mark on top of the Denver there. I thought it was an S for a second, but uh, it's actually in really good shape other than that little mark that there and uh, this one is going into the collection let me just show you the hole that, that has been staring me back in the face uh, since like the beginning of this entire series look at this entire page which is full except for that one coin right there this has just been the one that's been that's I've been trying to find forever and we finally got it right there that completes the page now some of you guys might argue that uh, I didn't complete the page because we don't have the 2009s Go away, get out of here. It's not even, it's 2009 right now, guys. We're not gonna get those 2009, or 2019, sorry. We're not gonna get those 2019s uh, until probably around April of this year, and it is currently February. So uh, we're just gonna not count those for now, uh, but we finally got that 2009 Denver. That is so good, and we only have like five rolls left in the box. So, uh, you know, I was getting nervous that we weren't gonna get it, but. Uh, I can't believe that it just pulled through. So I don't know, guys. I'm super happy about that. Super weird thing to be, uh, you know, overly happy about. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So let's go through the rest of this roll and uh, see if we have anything else in it. Looks like we got an older Canadian right here, uh, 1966. Throw it into the pile. And uh, I think that is it for the roll. So, <laughs> oh, we have one more Canadian right here, which I almost missed which is a 1978. All right, that is it for that roll, guys. On to the next one. Super happy to get that. All right, now look at this, guys. Three rolls left, and we just pulled another presidency. This one coming reverse side up, so we don't know if it's gonna be a Philadelphia or a Denver. I've done this flip so many times, and every time it's a Philadelphia. Let's see if we're gonna get our second 2009D right after the first one. Three, two, one. 
Okay, we are not. So that is just a Philadelphia right there. So the 2009 Deep Presidential coin that we just found right there is going to remain the only one out of all of these boxes, unless I've missed one in the past, guys. Now, guys, at this point, we only have three more rolls to go in the box. And uh, I forgot to mention, I did find a couple more wheat pennies in those last few rolls. This one, uh, I could see the date right away is at 53 Denver. Nothing crazy. But uh, out of the last roll before that one, I was able to find a 46S which, uh, you know, usually I don't find these estimate coins. Uh, I did already check in the book though, and it turns out that uh, we do have the 46S. So just to double check there, we definitely have that one already. So uh, that's just another uh, wheat penny. Uh, so we have three more rolls to go, and I kind of figured I would just go through these live, just because these are the last three rolls uh, in the series. So I want to see what's going to come out of them uh, and uh, do it live. So let's just go ahead and do this, guys. Just as kind of like a nostalgic thing, because uh, this is the last uh, episode, the last official episode anyway, uh, of the Coin Quest series. So you won't be seeing a whole lot more after this one. Now, this could be an 88. Close, 86. So that is not going to be an 88, but uh, if we could get that <laughs> out of here, that would just be the icing on the cake. There's a 2,000 Canadian right there, so that's not going to be anything. So uh, these rolls have been decent, guys. Uh, a few wheat pennies here and there. It's been really weird with the wheat pennies, though. They've been kind of spread out. Like, there was hardly anything in the beginning, and then we got a whole bunch of them uh, towards the end there, uh, plus that 2009 Denver. So right here, guys, this is the second to last roll. Uh, it's looking pretty good see a lot of copper uh, edges there so hopefully we get something out of here and it looks like my main camera shut off but I'm just gonna keep going here guys uh, we're gonna get through these and uh, see what we are able to find uh, in these last few rolls I just want to keep it live even though the camera just shut off uh, you probably noticed that screen go away but uh, the hand camera here is going strong let's see what we got here we got a 2009 Plane. Okay, so uh, another 2009 to uh, make the box just a little bit better here at the end. There's a few more dates that I could really use out of here, including that 1988 Canadian. We're kind of running out of room here, but guys, this is going to be right here. This is the last roll in the Coin Quest series, at least officially. We may end up uh, extending the series just every once in a while, but definitely not going to be doing it. Uh, uh, as fiercely as we have been in the past year so this is it guys the last official roll let's see what it's gonna have now actually that's looking pretty good i see a lot of copper on that left side so uh, hopefully we get something cool out of here let's see what we're gonna get all right so right off the bat i'm seeing a few canadian coins uh, on that left side let's pull those out first one here is a 1974 and then what do we have right here it's probably going to be another 70s oops Yep, another 1974. So that is, I uh, got a couple Canadians out of there. Interesting toning on that 63. I don't know what would have caused that. But let's see what else we're going to get here. It looks like we are going to get another 2009 out at the end here. This is the formative years. And uh, let's see if we're going to get a Denver Mint on that. Nope, just a Philadelphia. So another Philadelphia. We got a lot of those in the 2009s. And uh, once again, here we have an interesting toning on that 1963 Denver. Well, I'm really glad that this is ending up to be a, a pretty interesting roll for, for the last one. But uh, let's see if we're going to get anything else out. We have a Canadian right there, 1979. And anything else that this roll could give us would be appreciated, especially something that could go into the collection. Now, I'm not really seeing anything else here. So I think, guys, that is going to be the end of Coin Quest. So we're going to get a tally on this box, see what we're able to find, uh, score it all up, and uh, I will get back to you in just a second. All right, guys, welcome to the final Coin Quest wrap up. So this box ended up actually being pretty good. We got a lot of really cool stuff. Starting up here in the Wheat Sense 40s and 50s at five points a piece, we had 12 of them right there, and uh, they were all pretty common dates. There was a 46S which I thought was pretty cool. So that's 60 points on the box already, getting us close to that 100 point total, which is always a good box, anything over. Uh, so coming down here to the 2009s, we actually ended up getting every type of 2009. You have four types. You have the birth and early childhood, form of years right there, professional life, and the presidency, which you guys know, we got that 2009D as well. Uh, but we got six of them total right there, so that's six more points. 
Coming down here to the young heads on the additional Canadian score sheet, uh, worth five points a piece. Like I said, we got all of these 1964s. That's three, six, nine 1964s right there. And we also got a 58, 59. And you guys know we got that 54 into the collection as well. And then coming down here to the bird sense, we got one of those, the 1969, 1967 centennial year right there at five points uh, for that one. Now, of course, on top of that, guys, we got a 1940 Denver into the collection worth five points. Uh, we got a 1954 Canadian into the collection, as you can see right there. Uh, as we said earlier, the rarest of the uh, young head Canadians right there. Um, so that's worth five points as well. And we got the 2009D presidency, which is, I'm super happy about that because it's been forever that we've been trying to fill that hole in and it actually completes this page really nicely. So a great way uh, to end this uh, coin quest series. Overall, the points came out to 137 on this box. So not as good as the last couple of boxes, but definitely a good way uh, to end out the series. So I'm super happy about that. So guys, I know a lot of you are probably wondering at this point, what is gonna happen on the channel now? From here on out, it's gonna be all about coin quest nickels. I have that coming up soon. Uh, so definitely be on the lookout for those videos. We're gonna be starting an entirely new uh, Jefferson Nickel collection to see how far we can fill that out. Just like we did with the pennies, uh, we're gonna go all the way back to the 1938 date, which is when the Jefferson Nickel started and go all the way up through 2019. As well as also, we're gonna be looking out for Buffalo Nickels because we do find those. We're probably not gonna fill them up uh, a whole lot, but uh, we are gonna be looking for them as well and filling in that collection too. It's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm super excited to start that series. So one last time, if you haven't already picked up one of these coin roll hunting placemats to aid you in your penny roll hunting, make sure to head on over to quincecoins.com to get one for yourself. As you can see, we have all the different types of coins that you can find across the front of it. And then on the back side, we have that point system that we use to rate the boxes. We also use that point system on our coin roll, coin roll hunting competition hunts uh, that I do with my brother. And uh, we have a lot of fun doing those as well. So make sure to pick these up at quincecoins.com if you haven't already. Links will be down in the description below. But that's going to pretty much wrap this one up, guys. Thank you for supporting the Coin Quest series. We'll have like a big wrap up video coming soon uh, just to show you exactly what we're able to find. Probably throw some statistics in there for you as well uh, in case you're interested in that kind of stuff. But that's going to be it, guys. So thank you so much for watching this one. Make sure to go down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new because I post new videos like this every single week, always bringing you guys along with the hunts and having a good time. And as always, I'm Quinn. And this is Quinn's Coin signing out, and I will see you in the next one.